Why is it so important for you to finish this race officially? For me, it's really just a personal goal to finish the race officially. I mean, I just, I've been working at this for eight years and I just want to be able to cross the finish line. You know, it really is a long, long way to be able to go from doing your local, you know, Olympic distance races to coming to the Ironman. And so um, for the wheelchair racers, there is only one qualifier in the United States, which is Buffalo Springs um, Lake Triathlon in Texas. And so um, go, by going to that race, you have to not only finish in first place, you have to finish under eight hours um, and in order to get a slot. And there's one slot for females in chairs. And this year I was fortunate enough to get first place and get that slot. And for you, this is just as mental as it is physical, isn't it? Right, it's definitely a mental game. But I mean, I think the Ironman is mental for anybody. I mean, when you're out there at, you know, 80, 90, 100 miles and all you want to do is be sitting on the couch, you know, I mean, it really becomes a mental sport. But um, for me, it's even more so because in the back of my mind, I have that nagging time cut, like, you know, they're saying, you know, you have to beat me in order to be able to go on and actually get to the run and to the finish line. <laughs> Do you have a mantra that keeps you going mentally on sometimes when you're on those long rows and no one's around you? What do you do to keep yourself strong and, and focused? You know, I really have a lot of, I have probably have a million different mantras, but you know, the one that I use the most often is that it isn't over till it's over, you know, and you keep pedaling until that 10 and a half hour com comes and you know, hopefully by the time it comes this time, I'll be back in transition, but you never know what's gonna happen. You don't know if you're suddenly gonna start feeling good or get a tailwind or what, so you just gotta keep on pedaling no matter what happens. <laughs> what about when you do go down at Lee Drive and cross that finish line? Have you thought about that? Oh, I think about it all the time. You know, when I cross the finish line, it'll be a pretty awesome thing. And I, I really feel this time that I have a great opportunity to do that. And I feel a lot more confident being here. I think when I was here in 2006, I was just really um, intimidated. And um, I wasn't healthy at the time. And I wasn't riding as fast as I needed to. And this time, I feel like everything's falling into place. And so I really feel like I'm going to be able to cross the finish line this time. <laughs>